So my hypothesis was originally, um, does the rate of alcohol consumption affect um, the rate of breast cancer? My question changed to, does that association vary based on income across countries? The research question finding was kind of hard for me, um, but I found it and it was a lot of trial and error and a lot of searching for all these different code books. So for my project, I looked specifically at intermediate creators, which is like one of the more well-known subpopulations. One particular uh, variable that I was looking at was um, layered ejecta morphology. So in using the NISARC data set, I looked at binge drinking young adults and treatment seeking patterns based on arrests. So I was looking at if arrests have alcohol related arrests affect treatment seeking in young adults. And then I decided to measure it by income. Uh, my research question is examining um, the association between parent-child relationships and their educational achievement in terms of grades. So I chose the Mars Crater data because it's, it was the most, for me, science-based, and I'm trying to do more physics. The impact event is a lot of physics, and that's something I wanted to focus on. I wanted to know if your mom was warming and loving to you, if you would extend that love towards a sibling. So the um, measure that I had uh, for sibling relationships was frequency of love felt for sibling. I wanted to kind of accompany a project that I'm, a long essay I'm writing as my kind of capstone senior project on um, the role of music in HIV AIDS prevention in Latin America. I used Gapminder. I wanted to work internationally, but also Gapminder has tons and tons of data and variables that you can look at. At this point, you've generated a personal codebook reflecting variables of interest to you from your data set, and you've selected an association that you would like to test. You're now ready to conduct a literature review using primary source journal articles, that is, articles reporting original research findings. The literature review is incredibly important. It's something that you get better and better at the more exposure that you have to it. It's something in science that you simply cannot skip. What is a literature review? It's an examination of the body of work that's been written about your particular topic. What will the literature review do for you? It will help you understand the state of knowledge on your topic, which you've got to do. You have some interesting, innovative ideas, but chances are somebody has thought similarly to you in the past. I don't know how to find you want to find the methodologies people have used in their research. You want to learn about the theories and hypotheses that help form their research. You want to explore the models that other researchers have used that may apply to your particular research question. Your literature search will help you plan your question and your data analysis. It will help you refine your topic. You may find that so much has been written about your topic that there's little room for you to contribute new research. You might need to narrow your focus or modify your research questions. You may also find that you need to expand your topic. Perhaps your topic is a little too narrow and to find relevant literature, you need to expand your search. Your literature search might also help you focus your question on a smaller population. Rather than ask your question of all ages, you might choose to focus more narrowly on the young, the old, males or females. So the question had already been like asked and answered. Um, people already knew that this was a correlation, but nobody had tested it with the data set that I had and considered um, the confounding and moderating variables that I had tested. Most importantly, your literature review ensures that you're contributing something new. It ensures that your research is transforming data into useful information and knowledge. I use the Gapminder data set. I was curious if this association is just as significant in uh, third world countries. The final stage of this course is the writing of an original empirical paper or poster presentation. Your literature review will be essential in preparing for this step 
because it will provide you with information that will be important for both your introduction and your conclusions. You'll need it to introduce your topic and to interpret what you found. It provides context and background. Without it, you can't create an argument for why your research is important, why it provides insights and new knowledge. Scientific literature falls into two broad categories, primary source and secondary source. So what's the difference? Primary source scientific literature is, generally speaking, journal articles reporting study results. The authors conducted original research in the same way that you are. They did a literature review, they performed analysis, they evaluated their results in the context of their literature review, and they compiled it all in a paper in a form consistent with scientific studies. Your literature search will focus only on primary source literature. Secondary source literature is one or more steps removed from the original research. This includes things like textbooks, review papers, theoretical articles, magazines, wikis like Wikipedia, and newspapers. Secondary source literature can't necessarily be trusted as an accurate record of the original work that it may describe because the authors of secondary source material may or may not interpret results correctly. They may leave out important information on methodologies. They may choose some ideas and ignore mitigating results. In short, they may misinterpret or misinform. Secondary source literature should generally not be part of your literature search or cited as part of your paper or poster. The only reason for using secondary sources is if it helps you develop a background understanding of your topic. These sources may help you read and understand primary source literature, but they are not a substitute. Also, the reference sections of some secondary sources may point you to useful primary sources related to your topic. You should start your search using keywords based on the two topics you've selected. Search for their presence in the title of articles. You can then narrow your search as necessary based on the amount of relevant literature that you find. Although some libraries have extensive paper collections of journals, more and more original articles are available online through Google Scholar and other search engines that index the full text of scholarly literature. As you read the literature, be prepared to adjust and adapt your research question to what you're finding. You may want to refine your question, focus more narrowly, or change your question entirely as your understanding of the subject grows.